Victim one, would you please come in? Thank you for joining us today. Would you like a water before we get started? Yes, please. Yes, please. I've just been through something traumatic and here you are throwing water bottles at me? Piece of shit. Would you state your name? My name is Tamid and this is my testimony. My name is Elise and this is my testimony. My name is John and this is my testimony. Would you please go over what happened that night? So I was leaving the elevator at the library and I was walking, listening to some chill music, getting ready to study for my chemistry test. And then I saw it, and I dropped my books, and I fucking booked it. The worst part is, it's everywhere. So, tell me what happened. I was just playing volleyball with my friends. I was given some serves, and I saw everyone starting to run, and I, I didn't know what to do, and I looked back, and all I remember is seeing is black. I was with my friend in the elevator, and we were coming back from class when all of a sudden, the guy just pulled it out. I'm not claustrophobic, but as soon as I saw it, I felt like the walls of the elevator were closing in on me. And it was just a really traumatic experience. My friend, he can't be here today to tell his side because he's in therapy. But as soon as those elevator doors opened, I had to run out. Can you describe what it was you saw? They're small, but powerful. I've seen people get intense headaches and even throw up. I heard that it can possess people. And I have heard stories where people try to touch it, and damn, it's like they're controlled by it. It was small, but they've been spreading everywhere. At first I thought it was people were just putting them in their mouths because, I don't know, like they wanted to store their memories or something. But after I found out what they were really used for, I just couldn't see them in the same way. And ever since then, they've just really scared me. Is this what you saw? <laughs> Oh.